I'm Aaron Burns with Speed Sport here with 1989 NASCAR Winston Cup champion Rusty Wallace. Rusty, can you talk about what Roger Penske has meant to your career? Well, he's been a great mentor of mine. He's taught me a ton about life on the track and off the track, and he's always gave me the equipment I needed to win. And there's a lot of drivers that didn't have that opportunity like I, I had, you know. So when it comes time to put four tires on, the, there's enough funding to put four on. And when you need the best motor, you got the best motor. And when you wanted to be in the wind tunnel testing and making your car better, I was able to do that. A lot of guys couldn't. So, you know, working with Roger, working with the sponsors, working with his leadership, you know, was able to give me a lot of the, 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 the stuff I needed, a lot of the things I needed to get in victory lane. And But, you know, when it's all said and done and you forget racing, this guy is one of the most respected men in the whole entire world. And he can teach you a lot about yourself and how you need to conduct yourself. He's helped me quite a bit. What would you say throughout your career, and you've had a lot of them, is your favorite victory you ever had? Wow. Favorite victory. I, I guess one of my favorite victories had to be back in the mid-90s when uh, I was at Michigan and the track was tearing up and uh, Roger just paved it. And him and his guys sat there all night long watering the track down, trying to cool it off, the new asphalt, so it wouldn't tear up. And that particular day, I, I was in the race. I ended up winning the race. Well, 12 laps to go, I ran out of fuel, and I charged from the back of the pack to the front. And in the last closing laps, I had to pass one more car to take the lead, and I passed Dale Earnhardt Sr. in the closing laps. And it was one of the most dramatic, exciting race I've ever ran in my life. And Roger was there. The whole team was there. Uh, they were all wore out from all the anxiety, the track tearing up and stuff like that. But uh, what, a, what a bad did a Bowden win. That was a great win. Then uh, obviously my very first win at Bristol, Tennessee. Being a short track kid out of the Midwest, and going ahead and winning one of the top short tracks in NASCAR made me feel pretty good. And lastly, going from the mid-1990s to the present, what are your plans this year? Uh, I've resigned with the International Speedway Corporation and MRN, so I'll be their analyst on uh, for all the cup races this year with uh, the Motor Racing Network and uh, doing a lot of work off the track uh, for the International Speedway Corporation, which owns a lot of the racetracks. Uh, I'll be working with them, doing all the advanced publicity uh, they want me to be doing. Uh, and I'll be just flying around the country service and a lot of their sponsors taking care of people and spreading the good word of NASCAR. Uh, my, my title is basically a, an ambassador for International Speedway Corporation and, and uh, helping be the voice of NASCAR in radio. Well, Rusty, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. All right, thanks a lot.